Hey guys, so today we are going to learn how to do a thumbnail and we're going to use PicMonkey.com. So when you go to PicMonkey, you want to go to Design. Then you want to resize this template to be the thumbnail size, which is, and you want to um, undo the proportions and you want to do 1280, 720, and then apply and save it. Then you want to go over to this butterfly and this will let you do an overlay. Click on your own, go to whatever, wherever you have your pictures saved, which is my desktop, and then I'm going to find the picture that I want. I'm going to make this as big as the template, 1280 to 720, so I'm just going to make it bigger and make sure it just fits within the box. And it can go a little bit over, I'm not worried about it because it's my background. Now I'm going to make this fade because this is my background, so I want you just to see it just a little bit, um, that way it just looks nice. Now I want some more pictures, so I'm going to go back to the overlays and hit your own again, and I'm going to find the picture that I want to include. Then I'm going to make this picture pretty big. Because what we're going to do is erase the background, so that way you can only see me and the object that I'm holding. So in the overlay options, there's the, the eraser tab, so click on that. Choose the eraser size you want, and mine's going to be pretty big since I'm erasing most of the background. So you just want to take your good old time with this. Don't rush it. Um, you can always hit the back button if you make a mistake. But I'm just really just doing as much as I can to erase. Okay, now that I got most of everything, the larger proportions, I'm going to make the eraser a little bit smaller, and that way I can get really more into detail on erasing the background. See how I made that mistake? I'm just going to hit the back button and undo what I just did a few options and go back and refix everything. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. Another thing that I want to do is switch my face around, fix my body around. So, and then get it in proportion, move it down a little bit, because what I'm going to do is add another picture, and what I'm going to have to do is make that picture bigger and erase the background again. So you'll see me go back into the overlays, open up my pictures, and find the picture that I want to use. Make that as big as possible. And start erasing the background again as well, like I just did with my picture. Now that I'm satisfied with the picture, I'm just going to move everything here and there, move it around, get everything in place how I'd like it to be, and this is going to take some time. You may have to make your background a little bit smaller so that you have the option of choosing the other pictures. It can get a little tricky, but just take your time and work with, um, work with everything and just make it how you want it to look. So I didn't like the picture that way, so I'm moving it back and making it smaller. Then what I want to do is add some text to this thumbnail, that way you know what the video is all about. So you can choose whatever, they have tons of different options of text you can use, and just choose whatever one you like, and then hit add text. Once you add the text, then start typing whatever you want to put in there.
Then you can stretch it out, make it as long as you want, as big as you want. You can center it. And whatever you like to do, you can do with this. That's why I really like this tool. You can change the color. If you don't like the font you chose, you can change the font. I do like my fonts to be a little bit bolder so that way you can see it when you're going through the videos. You can see what this picture is saying. Um, then you can add more text if you like and have different fonts like that. My actual thumbnail is a collaboration and that's why there's me and another young lady. Make sure to check her out, Honeybee Beauty Ella. She is awesome and I love her. So we did a collab together and I did our thumbnails. So for her thumbnail, I made her bigger and me smaller. Of course, changed the names of who was being featured. So as you can see, I'm just going through, moving things around, changing the color of the fonts, and that's not what I wanted to do, so I hit undo. Sometimes it's a little tricky to click on what you want when you have so many different layers, but I'm just going through and changing the font to make sure that you can read it and it's seeable and of course that I like it. Now I'm just going to add some more text because we actually are doing a giveaway with this video and thumbnail so I'm just adding that information on the thumbnail as well and just using the same font just small and I'm gonna put it where I want it to be and I'm kinda gonna center it below the featuring uh, um, text then I'm just gonna change the color of the font that way it pops and that way you can see it and it's legible to everybody when you're looking at those small thumbnails and you can adjust the fading of that background um, so I just wanted it to fade just a tad bit more. Now I'm just going to do some minor detailing and do a little bit more of erasing. And see how I make this mistake? Just hit the back button and go back and just take your time. And I'm just doing minor detailing just to make it look just a little bit perfect in my eyes, of course. But yeah, just take your time, be creative, have fun with it. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. So once you're done with all your editing and you're satisfied with your thumbnail, make sure to go to the save button at the top there. Rename it to whatever you want and save it to wherever you like. I like to save mine on my desktop so it's just easy to find. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And make sure to also check out my other YouTube tips on my playlist. Have a great day. See ya.